is Ultramarine Blue by Liquitex. This is Wine Muscadine, Muscadine Wine by Porridge Posse. This is Muscadine Wine with a little bright, softer pink in it. And let's see, what else? I've always got stuff on the side that I might use just in case. But I'll let you know what they are if I use them. So, gonna start out with our Color Place House Paint. No water, no nothing. Just straight house paint. No silicone. Not anything. It's just Color Place house paint from Walmart. Now we gotta spread this out. My spatula out of my bucket. Get this party started. And you can't really torch house paint. It gets a film on it. So you have to, if you need to, Torch really fast just to get rid of your bubbles. Hopefully, this will turn out, but I guess we'll see, huh? Things never turn out the way you want them to, but sometimes it's for the best. And find something even cooler. I'm losing my popsicle sticks here. Because I want it to be level. Thicker right there. So, we're going to drizzle our colors and hope this works because I'm not using the exact recipe that Kathleen uses. So, we'll see. Drop my spatula in the bucket. Let's see, I need to torch just for a second. Oh my goodness. Oh, 
my goodness. Alright, so we're ready to do the drizzle. Start drizzling some colors. Of course, I'm going to start with my favorite, which is blue. That is a gorgeous blue. Gorgeous. Drizzling, so much fun. Oh, that was a bit thick. I'm going to get all the way up to your edges. That way you've got color all the way when you swipe. But you just keep going until you're canvas is full. Set that on the side. Do the muscatine wine with the light pink in it. Makes such a beautiful rose color. I love it. And I am not a pink person, but I love the mauve, dusty rose look that's going on here. This paint. I've been trying to force myself to use pink and colors that are out of my comfort zone. Because every piece of art can't be blue. Even though in my world that'd be awesome. <laughs> color. I know it's going to look like a mess, but it's going to turn out like a masterpiece. The Muscadine Wine by Porridge Posse. See, they look almost the same, just... I lightened one up with some pink. So we get seven shades of muscadine mine. These are some awesome paints. I do believe Christina Welsh is the one that that makes these paints. And they are just absolutely fabulous. They're super thick. You can make lots of paint out of them. You'd be surprised. And they've all got kind of a shimmer to them. Let's do the coral. I love coral. Not as much as blue, but I love coral. So everybody cross their fingers for me that this works. Because it looks like a darn mess at first. Alright, let's move on to... This is the... Porridge Posse Blue Shimmer, I do believe. If not, it's the Ultramarine Blue by Liquitex. I don't like to use all that polyurethane in a closed room, so I'm trying it without it to see if it works. Just hoping. Because there's a lot of paint when you're done drizzling and you definitely don't want to scrape it. Alright, next color. 
think we're gonna do the yellow. My custom yellow. I think this is gonna be very pretty. All these colors. I've never put this many colors on anything <laughs> in my life. I haven't even had tie-dyed shirts that are as colorful as this. Alright, let's move on to the... What color is this? I do believe it's a porridge posse. If not, I'll link it in the description. I think it's the... Silly's Masquerade Shimmer. Such a pretty green. And just fling it all around. So you cover up most of your white spots. A little more green. Like I said, I love this technique. I just don't like inhaling polyurethane. thing. Guess this is my pop color, because the yellow looks like it's sinking. I hope not. But what do you do? Gotta try it new and different ways and see what you can come up with. Maybe one day I'll come up with my own technique. That would be awesome. Alright, I think the only color we have left is Hot Orchid. By color art. That hot orchid just really pops. Really, really pops. I think we should get some interesting cells in this. Alright, well I think just for fun, we are going to put some heavenly, heavenly white satin. Just to bring a little extra sparkle to the game. I mean, look at that stuff, sparkle. Woohoo! Everybody needs some sparkle and color in their lives. This don't even look like something I would pick color-wise. I think I want the blue shimmer in there too. This is heavy white satin. Hmm, I wonder if I didn't write what company it was from. But anyway. Interference green. That sounds good. I thought I was totally prepared. I guess I'm not. And the 
light hits this, it, it turns completely green. It may look white now, but it will turn green in the reflection. Okay, I think I'm about loaded up on enough paint here. I think it's time to do the swiperoo so we can see if we're going to get stained glass. Or a mess. <laughs> Could be either or. Grab my cards. Grab a pile of paper towels. I know most people already have this laid out and ready. I tried to be prepared. <laughs> you see how well that went. So we're going to get our cell activator out here, move some of these colors aside. Alright, we got our CA cell activator, black ox, I think it's oxide black. Um, an Australian Floetrol. All right, need something to dump that out. Found something. Give it a good stir around. Make sure. Oh, look at that elasticity. It should work well. We will see. I need a bigger table. <laughs> The swiping begin. Guess I got plenty of paint on it. It's starting to run over. Oh, check that out. That was awesome. And sparkles in almost all the cells. This might be better than my first one. Ooh. So pretty. <laughs> I thought them people are nuts on video always talk about how pretty it is and getting so excited. I understand now. It is very, very pretty. I just hope the camera does the sparkle justice. Yep, I do believe there's going to be one pretty stained glass. I am so impressed. Give me some big cells. Oh, so far so good. Don't want to jinx it. Until I ditched the heater, made sure all of my blowing devices were. <laughs> shut off so that the sound should be better. That was my first try last time, so. Please forgive me for not being all knowing. Alright. We are going to turn this so I can do this the way I want to. <laughs> 
I don't know, maybe it's easier to swipe that way. Let's turn it around again. Since I'm right handed, I think it's easier to swipe this way. Big cells, big cells, big cells. Woo! I love it. I'm gonna get. Oh, that didn't work. Alright, well, hopefully we'll lose that little smear piece off when we spin. We still have to wreck it, though. You guys could just see the sparkle. This is gorgeous. I hope you're enjoying the process too. obsessed with this technique because I mastered the open cup one which my other two ended up a lot better <laughs> for Christmas thank goodness need some more cell activator I don't know if you can see this green tray I got or not but I just dip my card in the black and then I take it and I swipe very lightly. Swipe. See if we can do this half of one. Like I said, I think we'll lose the edge in the end anyway. Alright. Now that we've got all... the swiping done. Put my cell activator back in the container. Keep it nice and fresh. I find any bubbles in the racket. Didn't center them very well, I don't think. Alrighty, 
too much. I like that one. I like that one. Maybe echo the heart. Alright. So hold on a minute, I'll pause you. And we will go spin it in my box, my box across the room. Sorry if I'm shaking you. So now we're going to spin it and hope it doesn't fly all over the place. So, the push pin. I guess the tape's not where it needs to be. The cells didn't hold their shape. It's very pretty and shimmery though. Can you see the shimmer? And you can still see the heart. Where is it? Right there. I hope you can. But everything else kind of turned into a river. And I lost my cell structure. you like it, give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, please do. And we'll see you next time. Bye. That sounds like Molly.